very briefly this week uh they did a open beta for brawlverse and um that was the game that showed up at the game awards that had an art style that looked like ooh goofy sort of looking um you know triangle shaped uh, um uh, M mr incredible style characters uh, and it was then um battle royal rumble remember the podcast joke we made what the fuck is this Be remember battle royal rumble no i'm thinking of brawl i'm looking at brawl verse wait what did i, I just... say you said brawl verse i'm sorry rumble verse rumble verse oh, oh my god bah. sorry Rumbleverse is the correct title of the game. Um, we made a joke a while ago about, uh, uh, back on the old show, about the uh, um, fusing of uh, um, uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, except it's wrestling. And then. Right, this is the wrestling. It, exactly, it's the wrestling Battle Royale. So Battle Royale Rumble, and then, like, you have to take out your, your opponents until there's one standing, and the ring encloses. And as you get out of the ring slowly, you know, you have to have one person left. And then we had pinfalls and Irish whips and all kinds of goofy shit in that. Mm -hmm. Right? So someone made that game. And um, that was that was that was the bit. Now, of course, it's not that it's not the kind of idea that is that is immune to parallel thinking or whatever. So all dumb jokes aside, like Iron Galaxy coming up with this and uh, uh, going forward is like, yeah, I, I, I believe that because it's a pretty it's definitely a concept that could work so that art style initially put me off when i saw it and i didn't know what i was looking at and it still does i'm not down with the art style i think it's the biggest thing that um is probably going to impede its uh, uh its launch with uh, some mm -hmm. people that are like i just don't like the way these characters look but the gameplay is super fucking solid it's really fun um and you're not going to the art style is going to do what it does and i and i know the last time we talked about it um yeah you did you felt the same way like it just it's not it, it wasn't uh, uh yeah i'm looking at footage right now and i'm torn landing. because while it's visually ugly yeah the stuff that's happening is really cool so let me break it down here's what happens you launch in a out of a cannon into a giant battle royale city of which uh a giant ring that is like wrestling ring ropes in clothes on you like a battle royale if you're out of the ring for 10 seconds you hear a ref count down from 10 and then you're eliminated right mm -hmm. as the as it encloses you land and you have of um you have a basic combo a basic like so you do like you do like a three hit combo and that causes right. a knockdown you have triangle which is a grab that automatically uh -huh. does like a like a German suplex type of thing. Uh, then you've got a block, an evasive roll, a jump, um, and um, yeah, and then and then like an elbow drop when you're when you're attacking in the air, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so now um, first thing to note is if you climb up a building and grab somebody and do a suplex off of the building. The height you're doing it from adds damage modifiers that hurt okay. more. If you Good. see someone running on the street and you jump off of a skyscraper and elbow drop them from the top of the skyscraper, it becomes a massive explosion AOE thing that does way more damage. So the height you hope. do things from spectacularly adds more to what you your to your impact, right? Uh two, you find boxes like you would in, in battle royale like apex style game things mm -hmm. where it's like oh there's a box that's gold that one has some some rares in it or there's a purple that's a rare or whatever and each of these boxes contains either health items um upgrades for your stats of which you can have a maximum of 10 uh you can choose to either upgrade your strength your stamina and uh i think your speed um mm -hmm. um as as freely you can you can be like all glass cannon, all strength, nothing else, or you can do right. like each one, but you have ten total, and then you also find moves. Um, you will find a move that is your R one and your L one, and these are where you find a Shoryuken, you find a hundred hand slap, you find 
a uh, uh, an SPD, right? And um, some of them you find like a charged Shoryuken that has like extra explosion and iframes on it. It's, it's like a rare Shoryuken. Or you'll find um, uh, a Poison Mist, you know? Um, and there's a bunch of special moves that you find in these crates. And, they, and then you can trade them out if you come across another one, right? Super Kick. You want to do a Shawn Michaels? Bam, send them flying off the building. They fall to the ground from far away, take extra damage. Or, uh, if you recover in midair, you can climb on buildings like Hulk Ultimate Destruction so that you can traverse the whole map. It's not just about crawling up a staircase to get to the top of a building. Literally climb it, Hulk style. You have okay. everyone can jump anywhere and do anything. It's, it's, you have ton, tons of control in your movement. Um, then... Uh, of course, you have access to like yeah, like some of the super badass moves. Izuna drops, of course. You have uh, uh, all that fun stuff, and then you have a super, which builds up when you uh, either fill your bar to a hundred by fighting or by collecting stars, and uh, you do that super. The default, uh, I believe, is just a giant SPD that is like um, uh, 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 not just the SPD, but like the toss up and catch in the air, you know, uh, uh, style. Uh, uh, f uh, fucking whatever super um, I insane damage on that uh, or if you don't spend that super bar and you die with it it acts like TJ combo and it's a resurrection so you get a second breath you get a last breath you know uh, this is Iron Galaxy they designed uh, Killer Instinct season 2 and up they know what the fuck they're doing of course you're going to see shit in there um, all of that comes together into a fucking fun experience where you find somebody and you pl you fight it out with them. You knock them to the ground and then they have the option to either do a wake up attack. They can wake up by rolling away from you. And if you read that hard, you can chase them down and do a grab as soon as they recover, you know. And when you kill them, they drop all their items. You pick them up and then you find the next person. It's a battle royale, but you're fucking duking it out in a fun combat system. And you find a better move, or you find more rare moves by killing people or by, you know, doing all the battle royale things you would, like traversing areas that are higher risk, high reward. Um, and then you try to just build out your character to survive as the ring closes in. It's fucking great, man. I invented this game. <laughs> it was like, I've been watching footage the whole time you've been talking and listening to you. I'm like, this is literally the idea we, we came up with. It's literally the, the idea we came up on the podcast. It's Battle Royal Rumble. Iron Galaxy? Where am I fucking? Where's our money? Hey, I'm, I'm like, it's it's not the type of idea that only we could come up with, certainly. When the timer is finishing up, it says ring and closing, and it has a picture of a wrestling ring. Sure does. Again, I would say that anybody... Who plays fighting games and knows how they work well someone like keats you know certainly would be able to go like hey you know what's cool fighting games you know what else is pretty popular B battle royales what if though <laughs> you know so anyway um that's that's the report is that the game is fucking fun man and uh it, it, it it's it's Something that I'm definitely going to spend time on because it's addictive. I was first told by my friend uh, uh, Esteban from Hold Back to Block, shout outs to the channel, the uh, no clip documentaries and such, that like he's like, I planned to do a bunch of work today and then I got on this beta and then my day evaporated. And I was like, yeah, okay. You know, and then I went and just tried it and it was only up for like two hours. It was a very short open beta, but man, I felt it right away. Like, it took a couple seconds to get used to, like, even... So there's games that have, like, f what I call phone HUD layouts, where, like, the main menu is, yeah. like, Fall Guys, for example. It's, like, a bunch of floating windows that are meant to just be touched on a phone and clicked on, maybe. But I'm just... I'm not used to that kind of thing. I'm just... I'm like, ah, give me a list of, of, of options here. Um, but it took a second to get... To, to figure that out. Went to a character creator... You know, and I was like, ah, eh, I don't like this art style. I made an ugly character, but it's fine. I'll figure it out. Lucha, but it was a cool, whatever. In the end, I made a, I made a Lucha, a buff Lucha girl in a tux. So I'm like, yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll work with that. I like that, uh, that aesthetic. We'll work around this. We'll work around this. And then you just get into the game and then the tips are there and being like, okay, fucking fight people 
and survive and last the longest and find good moves. And the moves you find are like really cool, like like useful moves. Some of which are are extra effective when you like you fake someone out by charging it up longer and then as they come towards you like you expect like oh they get it. they start blocking and then you go like ah i waited for you to stop blocking and then i blew your shit up you know or you land an elbow drop from the top of the fucking eiffel tower onto two people fighting and they just they just melt <laughs> you know what i mean that shit is but when is this supposed awesome. to actually come out Does uh it have a Let's take a look. I don't know. I don't know. When I, was, when I was looking at their website, they're like, sign up for early access. We'll let you know. And I'm like, February 12th? Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's just, that's the beta. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't the real thing. Yeah. Um, that's, that's not accurate. Uh... Huh. We've announced that we are deciding not to launch it on February 15th. I saw. I just saw. Yeah. Uh, Early reports are saying it was to be released on the 15th, and now they just updated that. The first test a new release, February 12th. A new release date has not been given. Oh, no. Okay. Somebody failed compliance. Whatever. <laughs> Work on it. Tighten it up. That's fine. Um... Because I was ready to hop into this right now after seeing this footage and hearing you sell it. Well, it's not. It's not. Um, the the beta is closed. Yeah, no, give it to me though. <laughs> we'll I want to do the suplex. Man, these characters are ugly as shit though. It's it's the thing. It's the it's the fucking. <laughs> it's the deflate. It's the tire deflate. It's it's the the, the crook in my when fucking, they... the stitch in my side. You know. When are um, they gonna make like a fucking, like. Like, can we get more char uh, battle royales that are character action games, but right? then fill it with all the weeb shit that we would want to see? <laughs> yeah. Um, also, w w there's one special that's called um, the Wrecked Shot. And uh -huh. they knock you into the air, into the air, spin with their arms out, and then do a giant soccer bicycle kick. Uh-huh. And it's a jacked shot. Yeah. So, uh, there's one of the taunts is your arm clips all the way through your body backwards and then spins forward and does a thumbs up like the referee oh, in oh, that WWE oh, 2K19 bug. <laughs> oh man. It's an, it's like a, one of the un unlockable, one of the taunts you assign is the fucking weird WWE bug. Where your elbow just glitches out. It's fucking... It's great. It's it's really great. Um, hell, I mean, look. I, I At this point, it's... it's The game is built the way it is. So the art style is what it is, certainly. I would, I would only say, like... Like, add more body types and then clothing over time that will allow for um, other style characters to... I have a question about <laughs> body hope. types in that game. Mm -hmm. uh, does your character's body type affect them at all other than their visuals? Not that I've noticed. Okay, because I want it because I see there are some dudes that are just like spider verse kingpin looking dudes. Yes, there are. So there are. So there's uh, I think there's six body types and it's pretty much like um, spider verse kingpin, um, Mr. Incredible uh, or um I don't know, Frozone? No, maybe a little oh, thicker yeah, yeah. than that, but you know what I mean. Human being, ish, and then yeah. and then and that's then that's what you get, um, guy and girl, you know. So, yeah, um, we'll see, we'll see. But but I'm telling you right now, gameplay, fucking, you know, like yeah, it it was it was solid for that those 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 couple games we played. I'm gonna need uh. um, to see. You know uh, uh, how it all looks over time and servers and all all that jazz. But the other thing is that this is uh, Epic, right? Like this is, I believe they're they're publishing or yeah. That's when I went to the early sign up. I said I want to play it on the console. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's the other thing to consider, certainly. Um, but uh, I mean, Just the game like fucking Steve Foo that I played on a console. <laughs> yep. 
And you know what? I'll even go as far as to say that um, what this does and what I'm getting out of this is what I was hoping for from Ninjala. Okay. I see what you mean. This is doing more of what I wanted when I saw Ninjala the first time. Yeah. Um, that's it. So I, I just, I can't wait to get more on this, man. Like, I can't wait to see Fortnite's Melee edition that'll be coming oh, out next week. Oh, God. Fucking Use watch Spider-Man with a katana sword. 